Hey folks, welcome back to True Fixes. Today I'm going to be working on a Sega Genesis uh, 2. And everything works with this one except that it's pretty dirty. Hasn't seen a cleaning towel in a while. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart, give it a good cleaning, put it back together, test it, and make sure everything works okay. Um, and it's model number MK1631. I don't know if you can read it or not, but... Uh, Sega Genesis. So we're gonna start by taking out, you can see some of the dirt up here um, All around here. I mean, it's dirty everywhere. It's a bunch of dust. I don't know what the inside looks like So let's find out So let's start by taking out these four screws Well, the inside looks very, very clean, so it seems like it's going to be very minimal cleaning. Well, just the exterior would be where most of the uh, dirt is, so there is a top cover. Let's go ahead and take off the shield. I believe there's eight screws in here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight screws. And there's the shield. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I could uh, strain this out a bit. It's um, bent, as you can see. And the board. Everything looks good in here, so that's awesome. Uh, let me see if this comes out. Yes, I need to take these screws out too. Here we go. That was quite easy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these in the sink and give them a good cleaning. So I'll be right, actually, you know what, before I do that, let me go ahead and take these off. That way I could um, clip these. So power's on the left. Got to remember where these go. I'm going to go ahead and take this off too while I'm at it. I'll leave that on there. Alrighty. Here we go. Here we go. And this is clean. I'm not going to worry about this. Alright, I'll be back. All right, so we're done washing the parts. Let me go ahead and, st and clean out the uh, cartridge port before we move on to clean the parts, the uh, case itself. Make sure this is nice and clean. It wasn't dirty to begin with, but you know, kind of preventative maintenance. And I'm cleaning it with isopropyl alcohol. Uh, it's 99% alcohol, which right now the, this is gold, I guess. Who's in this brand here? Specifically made for electronics. Alright, so this is pretty clean. I'm 
Now the uh, covers themselves, I'm going to go ahead and take off some of these scuffs using the magic marker and some uh, all-purpose cleaner. And that should do the trick on these. So let's go ahead and do that. Even though I already washed it, I just want to make sure I take off a lot of the uh, surface dust and dirt that it had. So that way I could uh, kind of see what needs to be cleaned a little further. This one has oil on it. I just remember I just remembered that I used this at another on another video. It's got some oil because I could see the oil separating from the uh, from the water here. So let's see if I'm if it cleaned it. Yeah. See one here, here. That looks like an actual It's a deep scratch, so that might not obviously not go it's not gonna go away. But this might. Let me get another pad. Got some right. Got this little cluster here. Okay, I don't see any other. Uh, that's a scratch. This one might come off here. Right there. Yeah, it did. Cool. Alrighty. So that's clean there. Now for the bottom cover. Um, this is actually a, a deep gouge, so that's not going to come out. Uh, these might come off, that might come off, that might come off, but yeah, this one has got some deep scratches. Alright, let's start to piece this back together.
and there you have it all done so definitely looks a lot better as you can see just let me give it another quick cleaning just to get rid of some of the uh, over application all right so bottom <laughs> top and there we go now let's test it and see that it actually works and I didn't screw anything up so let's go ahead and test this real quick all right, folks, moment of truth here. Let's test this out. I'm testing it upstairs in my bedroom because the adapter that I bought for the HDMI uh, to hook it up to my monitor, it doesn't work. It, it'll display this in black and white. It, it must have some issue with the way that it it um, it converts the, uh, the audio video signal. So I'll be testing it with Street Fighter 2. And power. Zoom out a bit so you guys can see what's going on. Using this controller here. All right, we have a screen here, so we know it's working. Yes, it's working. Cool. Let me. And there we go. We're good now. I could just zoom out a bit here. Um, I don't know what to play. Uh, start. But yeah, there it goes, folks. It's working now. So. We're good to go now. Another console fixed, and it's definitely looking a lot better than the other one than it did before we cleaned it up a bit. So, all right, guys. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe out there. See you next time.